When you're out here, you realize that everything in nature is connected. Hooves on the ground, wings in the sky. From open range to clean water, fresh air, and rich soil. We are part of nature. Our hands, our feet, and the food we eat. I visit with some of the birders that come here and do bird counts. At our headquarters, we had some barn owls. They didn't see them for three or four months, so they thought that they were gone. I said, no, I say hi to them every morning. And I opened that big barn door over there and there was a pair right up at the top. My mom and dad tell me I was born with my boots on. So my connection to the land was visceral. We've been taking care of land and cattle and all kinds of wildlife for five generations since the middle of the 19th century, since the gold rush. Even though I was raised in San Francisco, this was home. If you would have asked me seven years ago if Audubon was going to put its logo on a package of beef, I wouldn't have believed you. When we looked at what birds were in trouble, we realized that grassland bird species were doing the worst. And if we wanted to save grassland bird species, we needed to go where they were. And this is where they are. We designed the Audubon Conservation Ranching Program to partner with the people that are stewarding the land. Birds can tell us a lot of things about the health of an ecosystem. And one of the reasons is, is that birds can fly. If they don't like an ecosystem, they're not gonna be utilizing that ecosystem. The symbiotic relationship between cattle and birds is significant because the way they graze provides the habitat birds utilize. The Audubon Conservation Ranching Program extends an interest of Julie's and mine to connect people in town and cities with people who are working on the land. We actually see grass-fed beef as a byproduct of our land stewardship. If we can preserve the open spaces that also maintain these businesses, that's a win-win for everybody. My name is Libby Porzig. I'm an ecologist, and I'm the director of the Working Lands Group at Point Blue Conservation Science. I think of rangelands as the heart of California. These ecosystems are iconic. They support enormous numbers of plants and animals that we can't find anywhere else in the world, and we are losing them. Rangelands in California are at the tip of the spear in terms of the conservation story. One of the biggest ways we interact with nature and with the planet is through the food that we eat. How we grow our food, how we create our food matters. Some of the benefits that managed grazing has for rangelands in California include maintaining habitat for birds and other wildlife, increasing native plant diversity, capturing carbon from the atmosphere and storing it in plants and soils, and providing livelihoods for rural communities. The health of these rangeland ecosystems depend upon the animals that live here. We no longer have the vast herds of bison and elk and all the other ungulates, the herding animals that occurred in California and that shaped these amazing ecosystems. It's not at our discretion that livestock operations occur here. It is fundamental to our long-term health. You know, the difference between me and my grandfather, who preceded me, is not ethics. It's information. It's incumbent upon me to use the information we have to get better and better effects. And that just stands to reason. Why wouldn't we? In the past, you would have known your local farmer, your local rancher. You would have known where your food comes from. 
But when you see the Audubon certification in the supermarket, you know that Audubon is out on the ground working with these ranchers, hand in hand, to keep the land an open space and provide you as a consumer transparency that the food that you're buying is climate friendly, bird friendly, that there's no antibiotics, no feedlots, and you can feel good about your purchase and know that you are having a role in conservation.